Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. It's fall here in North Carolina. Before we even knew it, everything started changing. The leaves started falling off of the trees. It started to become a big mess in the yards. Everything started drying out. Just a few weeks ago, like I'm thinking about two weeks before, this is how beautiful and sunny and green and pretty everything was. And now it is already fall and it's dark and it's cold and you know, everything's not pretty and green the way it was a few weeks ago but alhamdulillah for the change Allah has brought these beautiful seasons upon us where we can you know just eat different kinds of foods comfort foods stay in the home be nice and warm just rest so alhamdulillah for Allah's blessings and all the beautiful seasons that Allah has you know bestowed upon us to enjoy so I was just gonna go ahead and show you guys how pretty everything was before it started to dry out and to become all dry so what we did this weekend on our lazy Sunday was clean up the yard I got a cover for my barbecue and I covered that up and as you guys can see now um, it's in the day but everything's like all cloudy and you know not the same anymore but it's still very very beautiful the leaves are changing colors and before you knew it before you know it we'll start to have snow in North Carolina <laughs> so this weekend on Sunday I got my laundry done in the afternoon got ready for the week ahead and had a nice Sunday breakfast with the family nice warm food comfort food in the morning such as paratas and eggs and jai I baked a nice puff pastry filled with apple and cream cheese and like I said with fall you want to just think about all these desserts and all these yummy recipes and just eat 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 right <laughs> well for me that's the case guys just just kidding so we started off our morning by making paratas it was early in the morning I got up and I read my namaz read a little bit of sabak and then had some free time so I sat down and just started to read a few books that I rented from the library just a few days ago Lately, I've been enjoying going to the library just to grab a few books and to read when I have time on my hand. Like I said, since it's fall now and the nights are getting nice and longer, it gives us more time to read and just, you know, do things that we couldn't do in the summer because we'd be so tired. So these are the three books that I went ahead and got, Teenagers and Parents, some tips um, on that, and a book of all recipes, cookbook rec um, recipes. And this is one of them that I went ahead and and thought that I was gonna make and share with all of you guys because it looks so tempting in the picture and I thought it'd be great in fall and then the third book that I went ahead and got was home remedies thousands of tips and techniques anyone could use for everyday home remedies and and for everyday health problems so I thought these were cool I'm gonna read these for about a week and then I'll go exchange these out and get some more so that's how I started off my Sunday morning then after that it was time to make a nice breakfast for the kids kids so I started off by paratas and I made the dough the night before I use whole wheat flour I use all-purpose flour I add salt and I add oil to have it nice and soft yet crunchy on the outside when I'm making them so that's what I'm doing and my son was of course tempted to come and help me the little one so he was just right next to me wanting to make the paratas the whole time I just make two small piratas or balls and then what I do is flatten them out just a little bit and I add some margarine or butter in between and then after that I just close them together and then once my thaba is heated up I add some oil and it while is ready I was to making the breakfast that. the kids were up, brushing their teeth, and just getting ready for the day. And on the sides, what I did was made my husband some eggs. I used two eggs, but I used one with the egg yolk, and I used the egg white out of the other one. And just put a little bit of olive oil, let it cook on one side, a few seconds on the other, and it was all done. 
the meantime, what I did was I started making some tea. Do you guys like having chai in the morning or are you a coffee person? Let me know down below in the comments. I love my chai. I could never live without having this ever. I mean, if I'm going to have coffee, I'll have it later in the day, but I will never miss my chai. That's how much I love it. So let me know what you guys like to have in the morning. And our breakfast was all done. Paratha. The eggs, the chai was all beautiful, to, beautifully done. I put some in a cup for me, some for my husband, and then it was time for us to eat. So we all enjoyed our breakfast, and I have a recipe for the chai and the paratas, and I will leave those in the description box down below. Do give it a try. I hope that it will help you guys out. I have a lot of people messaging me about the paratas, how they don't come out crunchy, or they don't come out, or they come out soggy, or they're not soft mines are crunchy and soft at the same time and they're really really good so I would really advise you guys to look at the recipe and follow it and inshallah yours will come out like that as well After breakfast was over and I got the kitchen cleaned up, I got some butter. I got eight sticks of butter and I put it in a pan and I was going to make clarified ghee or kurwari out of the butter. So I just put it all in, put it in a huge pot and just let this boil for about 20 minutes until all the bubbles were just gone and vanished from the top so when you put in the butter it will start buttering up and the steam was so much that my camera kept getting foggy here but it will turn into all bubbly butter wait until all the bubbles are gone off of the butter watching it carefully and it will turn into clarified ghee or butter and it will be have a beautiful light yellow color but you must watch it carefully so it does not burn and that's what I did after I was done with it and it cooled for about two three hours I poured them into these nice containers just so I can have these like on the side when I'm making toast or adding them into like curry pakoras or makai ki roti or you know paratas or anything so I love having them on toast with a little bit of honey and you know it's pure you know it's made in the home you know what exactly what goes in it and it's not expensive like the kinds you would buy from the store guys And then after that, my friends, I made some bengan or batingern partha, partha or partha, bengan, um, batingern in Pushto, whatever you guys would like to call it. But what I do is I just put it on my stove, put it on, and just let that just cook through evenly on each sides. And then what I do is add that to cold water, skin the eggplant. And after it's skinned, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my tarka. I added two tablespoons of butter. Into that goes one medium tomato, one medium green chili pepper. And now I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt and a tiny pinch of turmeric. Now, I do not like to add a whole bunch of seasonings and all kinds of stuff in my parta. Um, it's because I wanted to have that original desi flavor and that taste taking you back home like that flavor of Pakistan and you know where you can really taste the eggplant and it tastes really really good like the old days that's the kind of taste that I like to give this so that's why I don't add like masalas and all kinds of stuff in here so it was real quick and simple and then after that I just get the the eggplant I chop it up on my cutting board and then add that right into it I had some kneaded atta in the refrigerator, so I put some rotis and just added a little bit of butter on top. Took out some of my delicious ajar, and lunch was served, guys. A very simple sada lunch on Sunday, made in just minutes. 
do give the recipe a try, friends. And if you guys have another method of you guys making the barta, I would love to hear that. Please let me know down below, friends. Have you guys seen my chakir or the roti chakir that my mom got me? It's from Pakistan, and I love it so much. It makes you feel like you're in Pakistan just eating that roti and gives, you know, your lunch that really special effect. So after we were done with that... Then what I did, a few loads of laundry, had the kids iron their clothes for the next morning, and then later towards the evening, what I did was I made this delicious puff pastry filled with apples and cream cheese, and now I'm going to share the recipe with all of you guys. Um, I would prefer you guys to use Gala apples or the, apples or the Granny Smiths because they don't release a lot of water or a lot of juice, and I personally think that these are the best ones to bake with so what I did was I got my apples I cut them up first I peeled them then I cut them then I diced them and then what I did was add some butter to a cooking pan and once the butter kind of melted through then what I did was add my apples and then you want to add them pretty pretty quick because just in minutes the apples will tend to change color if they're not in water so after I added in my apples, I just added in a few ingredients like cinnamon. You can add sugar, you can add brown sugar. So I'm adding a pinch of salt, about a one-fourth um, teaspoon of salt, and I added a cup of brown sugar. Now I'm adding in some cinnamon, probably one teaspoon full. So let that cook for just a few minutes and add about a tablespoon of lemon juice to it and add a little bit of regular sugar once it starts getting all nice and caramelized and you see it um, you I should say once you see your house smelling heavenly then what you do is just add a few drops of water so it does not burn and it is all ready to go let your apples cool down for about an hour and after they're cooled down get your puff pastry sheets and you can use homemade puff pastry dough or this is shop store bought puff pastry and they are pre like cut into two separate packets that come in one box so I'm using one of them I just opened them up and I got my apples that have cooled down really nice and I just poured them right in the middle and I've lightly greased a baking pan and put my oven on to 375 degrees so this is preheating and it's in the evening time and I just put the apples right on the puff pastry sheets I added some cream cheese and this is optional friends if you guys want to add this it's fine if not it tastes so good without it as well then what I do is just cut from the sides on each side just like you would on one side, try to cut them on the other side like that as well. As nice and neat as you guys can. And even if you get a strip wrong or you think it's not cut out, like, you know, perfect, don't even worry about it. Once it's done, it is so crunchy and so delicious that it will be perfect anyhow. So just cut down the sides and the oven should be nice and preheated. And then once we cut on both sides, what we're going to do is we're just going to flap them over from one side to another. Like this. From one side to the other. And you want to do that all the way down. After it's all done, friends, I like to get one egg and I like to just mix it up and get that egg wash and apply it to the top. And then put it in your preheated oven, let this bake 
so buttery and flaky and beautifully for about 30 to 35 minutes watching it carefully so you don't over brown it because it will cook really fast and it will smell so good that you won't even believe it I mean that's the best part of fall right alhamdulillah so now it's all done see how beautifully that's done on both sides and the puff pastry has a lot of butter in it already so that's why you guys see some of the butter coming out of it but I don't mind that at all because you guys know I love butter so it's all done once it cools all you have to do is just cut it up into little pieces you guys can top with whoop cream you guys can top with ice cream you guys can just eat it just like that with jai what I had did was add some crushed walnuts on top. You can add almonds, but I went ahead and added some crushed walnuts and then it was time to cut it up because I was impatient and it's very nice and warm at this time. So I just cut a nice piece out for myself and the taste was amazing. Um, perfect combination of the apples and the butter and the cream cheese and just that crunch you guys can see how nice it looks it was amazing friends and I have my fork and my knife ready to demolish it in just seconds and I also topped it with a little bit of whipped cream and it was really really good so I'll have the written recipe down below for you guys if you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog then please give you a big thumbs up friends let me know what you guys think down below and let me know if you guys want me to share more if you guys have any questions about this recipe i will be commenting to your guys's comments i will let you know and i will reply to you guys as soon as possible so don't hesitate to ask me make this for your friends and for your families for your loved ones because they will love you for making it you guys can also serve this on parties and on davits um, i would think six to eight pieces nice big size portions would come out of this one um, puff pastry sheet and the recipe that I used so you guys can make two of them you for you know more guests and you guys can always prepare this just the way I did and you guys can wrap it up in foil and you guys can freeze this then when you're ready to bake all you guys have to do is like take it out half an hour from before preheat your oven put it in and bake it so it's perfect for parties and davits and everything else so don't forget to thumbs up if you guys enjoy it and take care. I'll talk, talk to you guys real soon in my next video. Until next time guys, bye. Allah is.